Rob. 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 Mate, I'm on up. Hi. I suppose it's quite fit and quite apt to APT. But I'm here. First episode of Consylvania. Just about to review a Castlevania game. And that's why I came here for a bit of linkage. Glasgow's beautiful northern necropolis. It's an absolutely beautiful place. Fascinating. Fascinating graveyard. And I don't think you're allowed to film in a graveyard. Don't tell anybody. And I would not tell anybody either. Let's have a wee look around. You know, folks, Koji Igarashi has brought us Castlevania Lament of Innocence on the PS2. He's a master, and he's hoping to give us some narrative grounding for the whole Belmonts vs. Dracula saga. And, in the process, I think he's going to try and lay to rest the ghosts of those shocking N64 3D games that disappointed so much. I need to be honest, I've got high hopes. Mother! Mother, I've got your tampax here! Castlevania. Right, what's the right game anyway? Right, well here we are. You know, Castlevania loads up and... <sighs> the disappointment seeps into my bones already. It's not very pretty, this game. Everything looks grainy, rough, textures are repeating, corridors look the same. I've fucking I've been in here before. It all looks the same, everything's the same. Where's the lovely artwork? Where's the nice art design? Where is the great music? For the off, this is not impressing me. It's a big disappointment in the visual and oral sticks. And remember, this is a game in direct competition with the worst kind of competition a game can possibly have itself in the past. Still, it's all about the 3D you now, innit? That's what they say. So. Let's talk about the camera. It's always a good place to start. Castlevania's got a fucking weird camera. Never has a camera felt so obvious. It's as if this game has been shot with some director who likes using cameras built for people with giant hands made of ham. The camera itself is obstructive and it always feels like it's in the room with you and it always feels huge. Leon Belmont runs by and it feels as if he's making a wide arc just to get round it with a knock over. Look here, in the entrance hallway of the castle, your camera's slap bang in the middle, rotating to follow you and taking up a shitload of space. And you're thinking, I want to see what's in the middle of this room. Because I think it might be the cameraman. But you'll never see what's there because there's places in this world where only the camera is allowed to sit. It's bizarre. And it's reminding you. You're playing a game. But how does it play, Robert? You're all saying. Well, you might have heard that it plays like Devil May Cry. That shit. It doesn't. Well, Leon Belmont does have shades of the old Dante about him in terms of character design. There's a very solid old school feel with the way Leon moves. That's plus point number one. Leon is a very 2D Castlevania feel. You start to realise that the game's camera, which initially irritated you so much, is helping to create a semi-2D plane, which feels very familiar and very welcome. Now, there's no point talking about the combat in this game at all, because a lot of these fancy moves, sidesteps, flips, everything that's in here, all these combos, they all seem very tacked on. As if they're kind of just there as a token gesture towards a gaming market has become too fond of all this crap. Now, Here's where it starts to get very Castlevania, even using just your basic moves, forget about the combos, you rarely get any trouble in a fight in this game. Like most of the 2D iterations of this series, you'll only get hurt if you make a mistake. This is an element of gaming I love, and I love it because it works. Too many modern games raise their difficulty by being, as they say in the forums, cheap. Castlevania sticks its roots and gives us a game that you can sail through, as long as you pay attention and don't fuck up. So since we're all hot shit gamers and we never fuck up, right, where's the challenge in this game? Well, Castlevania has never been a game about challenge. In essence, it's always been about exploration and, lo and behold, you're two hours into this title and something wonderful happens. Combat second nature and you're ploughing through the enemy, scorching through rooms, checking your map, and you realise how much fun you're having. Just opening up that map, just turning those rooms blue, just like back in the old days. And suddenly you start to appreciate how pretty the game is. Why did you think it was ugly when you first loaded it up? Look at the moonlight streaming in through the stained glass windows. Look at the enemies, by God, and, you know, the music's not half bad either. See, Castlevania is a grower. It's a shock to the system to a certain extent because it all seems so different and then it all seems so familiar. And it's when it gets familiar that you start to fall in love all over again. It's no perfect by any means. It's not quite as easy to see where all those hidden passages might be in a 3D world where cameras are 40 fucking foot wide 
and the system which has you traipsing through the castle to dead ends just to place markers on your map to remind yourself that a dead end's in there is more of a hindrance than a help. You're better with a pad and paper, really. But the franchise is safe, and with Lament of Innocence, Konami have created a good foundation for further 3D adventures with the Belmonts. It's great fun, but there's maybe a pang of sadness here too. After all, for every 3D update that gets its wings, a 2D classic dies. Now, if you fancy Castlevania, you could do worse than check out an even better game. And another fantastic 2D, 3D switcheroo. It's Rygar. And it's... Oh, it's beautiful.